Looked every inch the number one in the world tonight there, Sam. How'd it feel? Uh, look, it felt amazing. It, uh, it, was, it was better than I thought it would be, you know, fighting here. Uh, but, uh, I've called for it for a long time and, uh, it, you know, it exceeded expectations. The turnout tonight was, uh, was crazy and look, it was good to just uh, go out there and, and do what I do and uh, show what I'm about. So, look, I uh, showed the level I'm on and, and where I'm going and, you know, you know what we want next. What do you want next, Sam? World titles, you know. I've, uh, I've been mandatory for, for almost a year now and I think I deserve my shot and that's what we're going to be pushing for wherever it is, you know, I, I think I'm ready. Who else? Is it, that's a massive five, is it really for you? Whoever, whoever, wherever, titles, that's what I want. Nah, um, no, not really, it just took, it took probably a shot. I knew he'd come out pretty fast and, um, you know, I think, I thought he'd uh, try and probably walk me on early, but um, it took me a minute to probably just get my timing and uh, after a minute I knew, uh, I saw everything I had to see and uh, I could go in with a, with a good pace. So, look, um, people want to say oh, I fought different or, or whatever and, uh, you know, a few questions I got asked. It was exactly what I always do, I just got to do it a bit quicker. I, I knew that, you know, I've been fighting world-class operators. That's what a lot of people forget when they go on about stoppages, this and that. But, look, um, I'm fighting world-class guys and, you know, it's not as easy as getting them out of there in one round. So, uh, look, it, sometimes it takes a bit of time, but just a whole lot quicker tonight. Nah, it, to be honest, mate, it blew me away. It blew me away. I, I think um, the most excited I've been for some fights is, you know, the, the Zoo World title fights that we've seen the crowd go nuts. I haven't seen the crowd in Australian boxing stand up the way that they did when when Sam Goodman entered the ring tonight. The, the atmosphere, the feeling, I'm, I actually just got goosebumps again at the thought of, of how it was when he was walking to the ring. Like that's that's what we, you know, that's what we love about uh, Australian boxing. That's what we love about working with Sam Goodman is is that he brings that. And we came to Wollongong, it's stacked up to everything that we'd hoped it would be. Um, and now I want to come back. I want to come back to a war title fight, absolutely. How did it feel to get that stoppage at home in front of your family, friends and community? Look, uh, it was amazing, it was amazing. I, I was very confident I could do it and I, I'd pull it off, but um, look, he, you know, it was, uh, it was tough. He probably took a, a few more shots than probably I, I expected. You know, he done well with making a small target of himself, but look, it, it felt amazing to get that result and uh, to get a few people off my back. Uh, trash talk this week, was it um, emotional in there for you? No, no, no. It's, no, it's never emotional for me. And a lot of people were thinking I was getting emotional. It was just a side of myself I, I got to show that I don't usually get to show. We haven't someone, I haven't had someone come and, and talk shit to me. You know, we fought uh, a couple of Americans last year, and I was, I was prepared for it last year. And look, they were probably the two, two nicest blokes out of America. So, look, um, it, it was, uh, yeah, it's something you know I've been uh, th thinking it'd be coming a lot earlier, and uh, it came in Mark Sleeves. And look, um, I handled it. You know how I always knew I'd handle it. I just got to show a different side of myself. He didn't get to me at all, and uh, I showed that in my performance. With well, look, um, it's nice, you know. It's uh, it's uh, it's something. It's moments you dream of since you're a kid. Uh, fighting on big stages, big cards, and and big shows, and. and Especially doing it at home as well. So, look, um, it's yeah, it's very, it's a humbling experience, but it's something I just take it, taking my stride. I don't build it up to be something that's not as well. I don't uh, add any extra pressure on myself or or build it into something that's not. So I just uh, take it in my stride and get on with my job. And if I can just add to that, not many people are able to take that responsibility and headline a fight the way that he did. Let alone in his hometown as well. The amount of pressure that's on him for that. He owned the moment. He owned the week. And he owned every opportunity that he had tonight was was amazing and, and not many people could do what Sam Goodman did tonight. Is there any domestic fighters left for Sam Goodman? Uh, look, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Right right now we're focused on the world title. Focus on the world title, absolutely. Uh, we want to get that world title and uh, if we do have to stay busy to you know, until the time comes, we'll, we'll talk about that. But there's no one here domestically unless somebody comes up away. Sam, what do you think about Mark Schleeves now? Felt like in the ring afterwards, you maybe felt a little bit differently than you did an hour and a half ago. Um, um, 
I don't really feel feel too different, but look, he's um, he was good for the event. He uh, he served the purpose, and look, at, like I said, he uh, he he, he helped. He did help build the event, and he triggered a lot of people down here. That's why he, he got the reception he did. You know, he uh, he got the reaction that he was uh, that he was looking for. I think, but uh, just not out of me. So, look, um, I've got no personal thoughts about Mark. I, I know he's not really like that as a bloke. Um, I've met him many times before the build up to this event, and I said it was, you know, it was all for show, but. Um, you know, like I said, I don't get caught up in, in all that stuff. And look, uh, yeah, that, that's really my thoughts on that. I just think it was it was all for show, and there was no no real uh, personal feeling behind it. It was just yeah, well, he was just more annoying throughout the build up. To be honest, he was just a just a little pain in the ass. And you said through the week, mate, that you're going to go a B B until you win the title. This could be a uh, tough test. <laughs> it might be a tough no, test. No. Can I have a vodka? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a couple of vodkas, low calorie. But uh, look, it, it is big. It is, uh, it is back to work uh, very shortly. Like, um, I want to go get some uh, good work over in over in Vegas and and do some uh, good training over there. Can can go uh, support the boys, uh, Liam and Timmy, and um, we'll get over there and get some good work in. And look, it's um, yeah, it's back to business for us. You know, I've got a big year ahead, and whoever that is next, uh, doesn't matter. I'm just you know back in the gym, working on my craft and getting better. Knowing your next fight would be potentially a world title. You seemed a little calculated, like you were setting your shots up. He was on the back foot and everything seemed to be, I guess, thought out rather than putting too, too much risk out there. Was that a fair game plan? Yeah. Um, to, I guess looking about the way you looked out there? Yeah, look, uh, everything I do is thought out. and it's um, Yeah, I, I don't just go out there and, you know, take, take chances. And um, look, I'm a calculated fighter and I'm very cerebral. So that's, uh, and, you know, it was just effective pressure. Though. I just got to uh, apply the pressure a lot uh, a lot quicker than I usually do, you know, usually it takes a couple of rounds, you know, you, you see what you need to see and then, then you really get to go at it, but uh, after, you know, about half a round, I, I think I, I saw what I needed to see and, you know, I, I really was uh, confident of going at him. Good behind you, man. Yeah. Number one,